What's up guys, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can get any item you want, uh, any amount of credits you want if you're a new player to Rocket League. Now in terms of items, this doesn't count like white octanes and stuff like that because they're really expensive, it'll take slightly longer to get, but if you want like any black market decal or black market gold explosion, this method is going to like make you be able to get it within a week uh, easily. Um, so this video is going to teach you exactly how to do that. Okay, so this is a sort of disclaimer just to start off. Um, for everyone who downloaded Rocket League when it went free to play, so didn't actually pay for the base game, you cannot trade unless you buy at least 500 credits. Now, I think this is wrong. Um, it's basically a paid game in this way. <laughs> There's no point calling it free to play if you have to pay to for it play it. Well, obviously, you don't have to pay to play it, but to trade and stuff, which is a big part of the game, you do have to pay for that. Now if you go to the buy credits section in the item shop, which is how you buy credits, 500 credits is actually £3.99. However, if you go to the starter pack, it is £3.69 and you get 500 credits in that, so that does break your trade lock. Plus, you get Endo, these Grey Gaidens, Neothermal Boost and a Friction Trail. All of these items will be untradeable, so you can't sell them, but I think the Endo's a cool car, so there's no harm in getting that. First of all, it's cheaper and you get the 500 credits and then you get those stuff as well um, once you get these 500 credits you have to wait three days to be able to trade them which is another annoying thing so you want to spend the money on that starter pack and then you just want to wait three days alright so everyone knows how to get to the weekly and uh, season challenges just press R1 from the main menu um, you get to the weekly challenges which always give you one or two rare drops I think last week it was two rare drops this week it's one currently the Llama Rama event um, gives you one on common two rare and one very rare drop um, and the season challenges here give you three rare drops as you can quite clearly see um, a uncommon drop can give you a non great very rare which sells for about 50 at the moment they've dropped a lot in price uh, last video i told you, you could get them not the vid last video video before i told you, you could sell them for 70 or 60 not anymore sadly you have to sell them for about 50 they don't sell for that much anymore because uh, epic ruined the trade up so there's just much less demand for them but anyway every uncommon drip drop you have a chance of getting a non great very rare if you even if you don't get a non great very rare you get either a ncr a non great rare or a uncommon uh, you want to save up those uncommons and non-crate rares and you can trade them up later into a non-crate very rare. Um, in the rare drops you have obviously rare, very rare and you also have a chance of getting an import. Now imports sell for, well non-crate imports sell for about 60 each. You have a literal, we have a base price on that. So you're always going to get 60 credits out of, a, out of an import. However, if it's a good import you can get more out of it. Uh, if it's, you can get a white octane out of these, I think, uh, which would be 12,000 credits right there, 16k. If you're on Xbox, I think the price is 16k. It's decreasing. Our white octane is going down, but you can get a white octane out of them. And the very rare drops, you can get an exotic out of them, which could be black dices, or it could be any exotic. Most exotics sell for around 50 credits anyway. So you always got free credits out of these drops. Now, I, I always open them when I get them, uh, but I do have one left over for this video. It's a very rare drop. So you know how to open them. So for the very rare drop, as I said, you can get a very rare item, which sells for about 50. Import, which sells for about 60, depending on what it is. Base price is 60. And exotic, which sells for about 50 for a base price, but you can get items worth a lot more in this. Um, so to open the drop, you just press X. You open that drop. It's exciting. What will we get? A very rare, not great. We're going to get Metallic Pearl, which is a non-crate very rare. Well, there's, they're all non-crate very rares, but this is one of the OG non-crate very rares. Um, so, if we go back, manage inventory, go to most recent, here it is. You can trade it in, as it is a non-crate very rare. Um, so, you can sell this, put up a trade on Rocket League Trading, uh, yeah, Rocket League Trading Post or uh, RL Garage, and put that up for about 50 credits. So there you have free credits. Okay, so as I just mentioned, um, you want to head to two apps. You want to head to Rocket League Trading Post and Rocket League Garage. Rocket League Garage also has a website if you're on PC. Um, so you want to list whatever you got and you want to sell it for a certain amount of credits. Now, obviously, you probably all got different things to what I just got. You may have got 
If you've got any non-crate uncommons or non-crate rares, don't sell them, keep them to be able to trade them up into higher items. If you've got any non-crate very rares, you want to sell them for 50 credits each. Um, you used to be able to sell them for 70, but Epic Ruin trade-ups, you can only sell them for 50 now. If you get any non-crate imports, uh, you want to be able to sell those for 60 each. However, if you get something like a White Octane or Black Standard, don't sell that for 60. That would be stupid. White Octanes are worth 11,000 credits. Black Standards are worth, I think, 2,000 credits. So depending on what you get, you want to check uh, Rocket League Insider, which is a website of prices. Check that website, uh, see how much what you got is worth. Sometimes it can look like it's worth more than it is because Rocket League... Uh, insider isn't always completely accurate it can show uh, prices higher than what they actually sell for but if you get something like a white octane or even any painted octane a sky blue octane obviously you don't sell it for 60 credits because then you're just making an absolute loss but in general you'll probably get just a standard non-crate import and you can sell that for 60 credits um, if you're lucky enough to get a non-crate exotic you can sell that for a lot more people pay 200 credits maybe even 250 credits for a non-crate exotic so that's good profit right there so if you get any standard non-crate exotic uh you can sell that for 200 to 250 the reason pay people pay so much for non-crate exotics is you can trade them up into black markets now since the recent update so the price of them has skyrocketed so if you come to my garage here um we go to manage inventory and we look at exotics um, you may get anything like, you know, any alchemists, their non-crate exotics, Almas here, but also this stuff here for me that's not non-crate exotics, like these Dracos, for example, if you pull Dracos from the very rare drop, it will be tradable and you can list that as a non-crate exotic, but it has to say, it will say at the bottom where it says cannot be traded in, yours will say press X to trade in and that's how you know it's a non-crate one and you can sell it for 250 credits, done. Um... If you get something out of the drop like Black Dices or um, Black Veloce Wheels or Black Tunicas, something that's worth more than uh, what a non uh, something that's worth more than what the base price of a non-crate exotic would cost, you want to check RL Insider and sell it for the minimum or just above the minimum price. Like if you get um, Black Dices, for example, that's like thirteen thousand credits. Um, I don't know how much black tunicas are. Um, black veloches are like three or four thousand credits. I'm not sure, but again, don't sell those for 250 credits. You'd just be fucking it up completely. Um, but there's those. The, the reason I took so long explaining that is because you all probably got different items out of that one crate. Um, so I was just quickly explaining exactly what price you want to sell those items for. As I explained on my trading video two videos ago in my channel, um, you now want to buy unpainted exotics, specifically Zombas, Dracos and Creepers. So with the credits that you um, earned from selling whatever you got from those drops, remember you opened up a load of drops, so you should have a, f a, few, a few credits. Um, you want to be buying Zombas for 30 credits, Dracos for 30 credits and Creepers for 30 credits. Now, no one sells those wheels for 30 credits, so you want to, instead of looking for trades, you want to actually put up a trade yourself, um, buying each of those wheels for 30 credits, and then spend as many credits as you have. So if you have 100 credits, spend 90, get all three wheels, and then sell them all. And you, once you've got all the wheels you can possibly buy, you want to sell them for 60 credits each. So you double what you spent basically. So if you had um, 90 credits in your account, you'll now have 180. You know, you're doubling your profit here. Um, and now that's the first way to basically get from nothing to 500 or even a thousand credits. And then you want to follow my other trading tutorial that I posted a few days ago um, about how to get up to thousands and thousands, even ten thousands of credits. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I hope this is really helpful for you. Um, like and subscribe.